Boo. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101, my uh, Monday Night Football recap show. I did not get a chance to do a, a pregame show, a postgame show, so we'll do a, uh, do a uh, recap show of this game. Uh, uh, and uh, we're going to do the trivia question uh, right now. Who was the first team to win an, uh, to, uh, to the... Uh, uh, who, who was the first NFC team to win a Monday Night Football game? I'm going to reveal the answer right now. It's the Detroit Lions. If you said that, you're correct. It was widely known that Cleveland beat the New York Giants Jets 31-20 uh, on September 21st, 1970, winning the first Monday Night Football game. Uh, that contest featured an epic performance by Jets receiver George uh, Saucer and 10 passes for 172 yards. But saw his team uh, lose as the Browns intercepted Joe Namath three times and ran the uh, and ran the second half uh, kickoff back for a touchdown. And um, and uh, Monday night's uh, in Monday night football second game, the defending Super Bowl champions over the Kansas City Chiefs at the time thumped uh, the Baltimore Colts, who are now the Indianapolis Colts, and who would go on to win the Super to win that season's Super Bowl, uh, 44 to 24. As Johnny Robinson of the Chiefs. Intercepted Johnny Unitas three times and also uh, returned a Colt fumble for a touchdown. And the Detroit Lions won the third game, becoming the first NFC team uh, to win on Monday night as they beat the Chicago Bears 28-14. I'll be another trivia question tomorrow on the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football uh, uh, postgame show. Uh, I mean, Thursday Night pregame show. And the Baltimore Ravens beat the... Uh, uh, I mean, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs beat the Baltimore Ravens 34-20 Monday night. Uh, and the Ravens scored uh, five touchdowns in this game. And uh, the, the, uh, they took advantage of every mistake Baltimore made. They wanted to prove that they could be a defending team to, to really uh, measure up to, ball, to the uh, Chiefs and really get to win. But they just did not, and they just did not look good. And, but they scored 20 points, but they, too many mistakes cost them and did them in. And uh, and there were penalties. But the Chiefs really uh, had Baltimore's number and really took advantage of the uh, Ravens' mistakes. And i got to give credit to where uh, credit is due, and that's to the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, and I'm going to give the game balls out right now. Patrick Mahomes gets one. Travis Kelce. Miko Hardman, Tyreek Hill, uh, Clyde Edwards, Hale, and Sammy Watkins. So they get the game balls, and uh, and they, they, the uh, Baltimore uh, they had two fumbles. They had a couple turnover on downs and a missed field goal. Chiefs had a missed field goal. And they had a couple of turnover on downs in the fourth quarter, and uh, but uh, they and they had several times where they just. Uh, and the Chiefs had a missed field goal, but they made all the rest of them. And and but the uh, Baltimore Ravens just uh, they fell short. They fall to two and one. Chiefs go to three and zero. Oh, and uh, the Browns will take on Big D Dallas and uh, at AT and T Stadium and Big D on Sunday. <clears throat> and we'll have it. We have, and there's a lot of great other matchups. My brother-in-law and I for the picks. I took Baltimore and lost, and uh, he took the Chiefs and won. I was. He was ten and five. My brother-in-law won at ten five and one, and I was seven and eight, eight and one, and I won and I lost. So I am zero one and two. My brother-in-law is one zero and two. So hopefully I can get my first win this week. Uh, but we'll have some great matchups for you in week four, and uh, we'll have a great Sunday night matchup and a Monday night uh, football matchup for you next week on uh, uh, and Monday, uh, Monday night football in week four and. Uh, and uh, the uh, Tennessee Titans had some some the players that qualify that tested positive for uh, uh, COVID nineteen. So the who were, the Pittsburgh Steelers who were, sp were supposed to play Tennessee that game is being delayed one week. So we'll have to see if they will get that game in the uh, following uh, week. So we'll have to wait and see when that game will be played. But that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports One Hundred and One. Uh, Monday Night Football recap show, and I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football pregame show and postgame show uh, tomorrow. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day, and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.